Here's Marilyn. She's 77 years old. She said, you said this week that it's best to hold ETFs in an investment account. So if we have ETFs in both an investment account and in an IRA, is it best to sell from the IRA and then buy those in the investment account? I believe that it's a, it, it's prudent to be aware of tax implications when you're um, building your portfolio. So not everybody has different types of accounts. Some people have IRAs, Roths, non-qualified accounts, which are just taxable brokerage accounts. Um, so for an ETF, with maybe the exception of the fixed income ETF, that might be a, a good thing to hold in an IRA. So in an IRA, what you have to remember is that when you grow your money for you, you're growing your money for Uncle Sam as well. So you want the slowest growing income producing pieces of your portfolio to be in your IRA account. Income producing because that's going to generate cash whenever you have to start taking required minimum distributions. Um, and then ETFs, the reason that we say ETFs in the non-qualified account, now that is, of course, up to the allocation. So, you know, if, the, if all of your money is in a non-qualified account, well, you're not going to be able to do it all with ETFs. There's still some things, in my opinion, that you probably need to have a, a well-diversified portfolio. But um, ETFs tend to be tax efficient because they don't have to pass on the capital gains when they reallocate within that um, ETF itself. Or in the case of the enhanced ETFs that we have on the list, they have the ability to move to long cash and back into the securities without passing along those capital gains um, to the owner of the ETF. So one strategy that you may consider now, if, you're, if you own them in your IRA account, you want to own them in a uh, taxable brokerage account. If you're willing to pay the tax on them, you could actually just move them in kind from your IRA into your non-qualified account. Of course, that does trigger um, paying the income tax. But if you're um, pursuing a strategy like that, you could consider moving those out. The other thing is that if you're on a discount uh, brokerage platform and you don't have any trading fees, well, then it, it doesn't really matter. You could sell the shares that you have in the IRA if you think it's better to have them in the non-qualified account. Just repurchase them that way. It doesn't cost you any money to do that. And there's no tax consequences for selling them, you know, whether they're at a gain or a loss inside the IRA.